at it again. Three inches. I thought it'd be more than that. Okay, since it's snowing outside, I'm going to do an indoor project today, and that will be to assemble this Bloom four tier greenhouse. Found these at local kind of grocery store, or Fred Meyer, which is a grocery and kind of all purpose department store in a way. And they had it marked down from originally $47.99 to $18.07. Okay. 60% discount. So, figured for that price, it's worth a try. It's definitely not very big. But, let's see. I don't even know what tools it requires. to assemble the bottom with the upsize legs. Okay. Currently 227. Let's see how long this takes me. We have eight pieces of the long pole. right in. Then we're going to take four of the small, these small pieces. I'll move the camera after I get it set up here. to change the angle a little bit because I was seeing glare from the window. I was hoping you'd be able to see all the sun or the snow falling in the background, but 
it, the lighting was not so great. Okay, so again, we're at this stage here. Step two would be to create all the shelves. So I'm going to start these. Obviously the little holes need to be towards the center the middle because that's where the long holes go. more of these with the end the holes being in the center I think it's easier to put these poles first the long poles and then pop it down onto the little short ones camera so you'll see the next level going on a little better. And we're putting the last one on here. This one does not have a shelf of crust. Put shelves in first, or do I put the plastic on first? Looks like the shelves. They are bent downwards, which you put facing down so that the poles there are holding them from sliding. Okay, so there are some ties here in the back. I guess it's just those four, so I'll get those tied and show you the finished product.
Okay, so I did miss one step, and that was attaching, let's see, that wire. That's going to go right there, but I can do it underneath the plastic. Okay, there's our finished little greenhouse. And it is 244. So what I say, it started at 227. So less than 20 minutes, probably 15, because I kept playing with the camera. So pretty easy. All right, here's the finished product in my mudroom. Since it's snowing outside, I don't want to shock everything with going out in the cold. But after these next few freezing days, it can go outside. Got a grow light above it. And this room is pretty close to where the wood stove is, so it stays pretty warm. And gets some sunlight from outside as well. Through there. So we have a fig tree is the big one. The little ones are some blueberry starts the onion that I planted the other day that one was just a grow from an onion that I had so it's just going to be for growing the seeds and some garlic so I'll get the other seeds started soon maybe organize a little bit more today and be ready to plant after the frost is all gone hopefully in a couple weeks Well, we have another below freezing temperature day here in southern Washington. It is February 25th, and I'm going to start some sweet potatoes. This one is an organic one I bought in the store, and this one is one I had that was store bought, but I don't know if it was organic. So it's going to be a comparison to see what kind of slips. I get from each. So I'm going to just start it here with some soil around it. Soil's kind of clumpy because I had to dig it up out of frozen compost pit. Um, but as it warms up, I'll get some warmer stuff around it. And so we'll just watch it over the next couple months and see what happens. I'm going to just cover it with, this This was just a container that, from the bakery, I don't know, croissants, croissants came in that, so that'll help hold in the heat and it will go in under the heat lamp in our mudroom. keep some humidity in. Checking in on the garlic I already planted. And blueberry, onion, and a fig tree. Thanks for joining me on this part of my gardening journey. Comment below on what you did on your snow days. And don't forget to hit that like button. See you next time and happy trails.